Good morning, Sagittarius. Happy Friday. I'm literally in such a good mood today. I just got approved for the YouTube Partner Program, so we're so excited about that, for sure. And in the future, um, I'm going to be doing live reading soon, okay? And um, also creating a um, membership section um, for extended readings pretty soon, pretty soon, Saj. Okay. <laughs> Happy 777. It is the um, 777 portal, which there really isn't anything you specifically need to do for that. Maybe, though, meditation is what everyone's suggesting because you will be getting downloads. This is a download day. On the day of 777, you usually um, receive something. It could be information. It could be something that you've been working towards suddenly showing up for you. Yes, Sagittarius. And usually my readings are a little bit late on, uh, there's two days a week where I have this little side hustle. So we got to keep that cash flow in y'all. <laughs> I know. Can you feel the energy? I feel the notes are about to change on the 17th, which it will go into Aries and Libra. And I already feel that Mars energy. I'll tell you that. So thank you so much for all of your continued support. I appreciate it. So the vibe for this weekend is miracles and contentment, Sag. Miracles and contentment. It's kind of that feeling of knowing that things are going to come in and get better. And, you know, and just being okay with where things are right now. You're like, I'll be ready for it when it comes. No rush. Which is a different flow for Sagittarius because we we tend to not have all that much patience. And just keep in mind that tarot, like, you know, everybody's... I've been seeing people say that, you know, uh, things happen when they happen. But, you know, they do. There's no timing here in tarot. They do happen when they happen. They do. So keep in mind that these readings are general and they may or may not be for you. Um, and don't look for evidence, you know, honestly. You know, when we look for evidence, this is just allowing for it to come. So this is the weekend sauce. Okay, and on the weekend sauce, we do some energies that may be affecting you this weekend. And all kinds of stuff. And then I will do... I'm so behind on love readings this week. I'm sorry. The holiday completely screwed me up. So, um, I'm going to be doing some love readings today. I'll do something for the weekend and I'll do something for, uh, you and your person. This will be the person on your mind, you know. Some, some of y'all out there have someone already. <laughs> so let's see, um, what the energy is coming in. This is super nice, okay? Adjacent possibilities, financial constraints, and the first chakra, Archangel Michael. And by the way, if you don't have energy work done, I highly suggest it. Like, I don't do that myself, but I have a friend who is a Reiki person, and um, I just had my chakras cleared, and I have never felt so good in my life. <laughs> I'm ser serious, you don't even know. You don't even know when your energy's off kilter, you know? So, definitely do it. So, what this is saying is that there are doors opening that are going to help you with your finances. Okay, so right now, and I think I have been seeing it. In some of the other readings this week, just feeling like money is tight, like money's not maybe so great. You know, um, I feel like there's an idea coming. And I feel like you are going to figure out um, some different ways of, of, you know, of dealing with any financial issues. And that really says that look for the doors, y'all. Look for the doors. Because the first chakra... You know, it's going to come in and it may be an idea that comes to you, whatever. I will take another look at that, Go, you know. So let's see. Let's move on. 
I know I have so much energy today. It's like boom, boom, boom. So let's do it. Um, what is unavoidable this weekend for you, Sag? Sag, I just think you're going to be tired. <laughs> so what's unavoidable is the Four of Swords with the King of Wands. Now, I mean, we can look at it this two ways. It could be that, you know, you're wanting to do shit, but your body's saying, oh, no, Sag, you need some rest. Or it could be that... Either way, you're tired. It could be that there's stuff you have to do that you can't put off and, you know, you're tired. You just want to rest, take a nap. You know, I say, I feel like either way, find a way to take a nap. I always find a way to take a nap. <laughs> you know, I don't even have any Taurus in me. So, you know, um, what can be put off is interesting. Okay. The Empress and the Page of Wands. Like, you, I feel a lot here about money. You know, um, the Empress is also about healing, about doing good things for yourself, you know. Um, and you may feel like you need to take care of some details in terms of these adjacent possibilities, specifically about what to do about, because with the Page of Wands, that's the details to a new direction, you know, maybe it's, it's your, you, you want to find new ways and you want to be active towards that, right? You want to do something. You want to discover new ways. Um, but, you know, honestly, what the Empress tells you too is that, you know, there is a conflict here between the energies. Like, like the universe is telling you, look, just slow down. Just relax. It's going to come when it comes, right? And it's, and then there's your energy because Sagittarius is masculine energy of wanting to take action. There's not a need for you to do that. There's not. What was under the deck was the Seven of Pentacles. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is that waiting for things to happen, just watering what you have going right now. You know, because there's a lot to be found in the in-between, like literally. And, you know, while you're just taking care of the day-to-day, -day, the everyday, tending to the things you already have, the responsibilities you already have, taking a look back at, at what you've already done, it could give you answers in terms of, in terms of this Page of Wands energy, you know, because the Page of Wands can be impulsive. You know, the Page of Wands just jumps in. They don't think. They don't think. They just say, uh, you know what? I, do, I don't want to be here. I want to go there. I'm just going to do it. And the energy is saying, Saj, no. <laughs> Take a minute. Take a breath. So definitely get rest this, this weekend. And it's so funny because um, I do feel like, you know, seriously, you want to do stuff. <laughs> Because in terms of what you want to do, the lovers is showing up. You want to make decisions. You want to, um, you know, there's always a decision to be made with the lovers. Whether this is about love for you or whatever it's about, you know, we have to slow down and move in duality. That's what the lovers tells you. You know, make the sit balance decisions. And it could be that you just want to be with, you know, your special person or, you know, doing a little something, something, you know, getting, getting jiggy with it. <laughs> but that's not what you're actually doing, Sash. <laughs> because what you're actually doing is the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay. Um. I really felt on first glance that, you know, if you have children, this could deal with something coming up with your children. Either way, I feel like it's communicating with family. It's, it's something is happening with family. Maybe they're coming to visit you. It could be someone from your past coming to visit you. The Six of Wands, really, I mean, the Six of Cups, it's a turnaround, right? Um, because the Six of Cups is a gift, right? 
but it definitely in this case feels like someone you know is coming to visit or there may be conversation or, you know, some change you're not expecting. There's definitely something that you're having to deal with in terms of children, in terms of family, in terms of maybe old friends, you know, there could be any of that. There could be any of that, right? Um, what's interesting is um, what would help you this weekend is to watch your money, okay? Four of Pentacles. Um, it's really interesting, the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, while we're seeing the Six of Cups here, and once again, you know, um, don't try to solve problems for other people, okay? Don't, you know, um, it's asking you to hold back. Don't give more than you have to make something better for someone else. Um, and, and basically, I feel like also, you know, be careful with your money. Be careful with it. And it's kind of letting you know that things are, are going to turn around. There's going to be improvement, but you have to really think about your foundation, right? And it's like, don't give more than you have, okay? Don't overextend yourself. Now is not the time. The time is coming. It's not here yet. <laughs> it's not here yet. So the challenge, the challenge is just more of that. You know, the King of Cups with the Hierophant is your challenge, okay? So it may be challenging um, to keep your emotions under control, right? Um, and the Hierophant is really about cycles ending too. And I feel like, you know, you don't have to be the one who helps everyone, you know? And I feel like that's a lesson you're learning and it actually will, like, it's about, Helping people through wisdom, not through you don't have to give away everything you have, right? But we'll see. I mean, there could be more to this story, Sedge. There could be. There could be. So we're going to take a look. I want to see particularly, you know, this also could be that something someone says. You know, something someone says. Who, you know, it could be like the King of Cups is very open and accepting, but the Hierophant <laughs> does things a particular way, okay? They tend to be more traditional. So I don't know that. I don't know why I always stay on that, but that could be true. Sorry. So what's the King of Cups and the Hierophant for Sagittarius? Three of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> the Hierophant. Oh, Four of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Hmm. And the Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like the challenge might be getting on the same page with people, you know, or getting, you know, this Hierophant specifically has their own ideas about how things should be done. They, you know, because the Hierophant's about structures and it's about structures that have been in place for a long time. And you may be trying to get someone to see a different point of view, you know, a different way of doing things. And that may be challenging. That may be challenging. So tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Okie dokie. The Three of Swords. There's a problem. Anything else about this? Yeah. Someone wants your help making a decision. Um, the Three of Swords with the Lovers. Ace of Cups. 
Yeah, I think you want to be, um, and with the Four of Pentacles, which is definitely about holding back, I think you want to be really careful. I thought this was about money, but apparently not. You want to be really careful how you help this person. They're asking you probably for your opinion to overcome a problem, maybe a relationship problem, right? And you may feel as if they're rushing into something new before they've healed. Okay, but you want to be really careful about maybe it's how you say it, you know, um, and maybe it's just not telling them that maybe it's just not telling them you don't think it's a good idea. You know, maybe it's telling them more than one thing, like from both sides is what the lovers ask of you. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, like you're telling them, you know, what would be the value in waiting? You know, you're, you, you're probably telling them, do you really want to invest in something new? So I would say just refrain from giving them the solution just allow them to see what could happen either way interesting so tell me about these adjacent possibilities adjacent possibilities for sagittarius nine of swords adjacent possibilities oh Adjacent possibilities. Mm. That's interesting. Okay, so someone else is bringing you this idea. That it could be an opportunity. Like, okay, the Nine of Swords with... With the Knight of Swords, right? So basically, if you if you've been worried about money, worried about how to dig yourself out of this situation, or money not being so great, someone's bringing you away. Someone's bringing you away, and it, it there is something about swiftness in this way, right? Um, but with the King of Cups reversed. You don't really have much faith in the idea, okay? Um, but to be honest, you might even feel uncomfortable with them giving you this help or this idea or whatever it is. Because it could actually be that they're wanting to give you some money to help you, you know? Um, because that's what the Six of Pentacles tends to deal with, Um and I feel like that's it. I feel like they want to help you financially, you know, so that you can move forward to success. This could come through. They're showing you how, you know, they're showing you a way. But it's the truth is, is they're, they want to help you move forward. They want to help you with whatever this is. So it's specifically in financial problems, it could be that you have an idea. Right. Uh, you have an idea that you want to pursue, but you're, you're kind of iffy about it. And someone wants to give you the money. Someone wants to give you financial help. And I feel like there's a part of you that isn't totally secure in what you're going to do and just, you know, feel some kind of way about receiving the help, which is common Sagittarius. But what I can tell you is the six of wands is here which is telling you to do it. Take it. Take it, Sarge. Yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? I know I am like a whole, whole lot of extra today. <laughs> so, you know, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? So let's get to the advice and all of that. Let's see what you need to focus on this weekend, Sagittarius. I've all, already taken up so much of your time. Probably going to end it with that. 
Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to focus on? What does Sagittarius need to focus on? What does Sagittarius need? Oh, okay. Free yourself of guilt and shame and honor your soul's purpose. I don't know, but what do you feel guilty about? <laughs> There's something about this thing you're wanting pursu to pursue that makes you feel guilty. Hmm. I don't know, Saj, but they're telling you to keep going with what you feel drawn to, what you feel led to. So that's what I have for you today, Saj. Have a happy weekend.